Are you boys here to look at the refrigerator? Uh, no. <laughs> We're here to look at the TV. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, happy right. Friday. That was a little awkward because yeah. I never know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Happy Friday. I got my own mic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what the fuck is up? It's yeah. Friday. It is. Another another wonderful episode of Three Wheel Bicycle Podcast. Coming live from Casper, Wyoming. I'm CV. Josh. I'm John. I gotta lean for him. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. There you go, John. Go My ahead. My slave with zero promotions. Uh, y'all already know this is the fucking J train. No, just kidding. I'm John. Ads. Yeah, we do got we got some. Well, okay. We we'll started up. So Jake is not here with us. So he is the other member of the three WB that is not here. We got some. We got some new guests. We got some new guests in the house. Go ahead and introduce <laughs> yourself, man. Uh, we got hey Mike. Guys, uh, Mike Slavin with Ground Zero Promotions uh, coming out here. Big shout out to everybody who's paying attention. Thank you for having us on here. Yeah, you're really welcome. Uh, got proof of life. And then we have Jeremy over here with the band of Panther. They're going to tell you a little bit about themselves. I'm going to go for it. Everybody knows me. <laughs> yeah, we got Jeremy back on. It's so rad to have Jeremy on. <laughs> Proof of Life is playing the show this weekend with Sharon and uh, Vintage Future and the Perpetual Sloth. So we're pretty excited about that. Yeah. So that's that's been. And that's tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. You guys, don't you have members in Proof of Life that is also in Perpetual Sloth? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Perpetual Sloth is a side project of our bassist and our drummer, but they've completely switched roles for that band. Um, our bassist, James, is on drums with Perpetual Sloth, and our drummer is fronting on vocals. And <clears throat> we saw them one time, one other time, at a basement show. And I tell you what, Donovan, our drummer, he surprised the hell out of me. He's got a voice, and he's got a scream. And I just remember standing there with my mouth open. But yeah, so it'll be it'll be awesome to see them. Yeah, see them play. So sure. Proof of Life first, and then Perpetual Sloth. So, no, uh, Proof uh, Perpetual Sloth first. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. So, so many, so true. many rad names. Yeah, you're the Proof of Life. Yeah. Well, actually, I do want to sit there before we or move it towards you or whatever. Uh, uh, Bridges Burn was uh, originally supposed to be on this bill. Burning Bridges. Burning Bridges. Thank you. Uh, uh, Burning Bridges was originally supposed to be on this bill, and uh, they had uh, they had to back out sadly for uh, personal issues. Uh, I want them to be able to. I hope their family's good. I hope everybody's great. Uh, thank you, Proof of Life, for stepping up for uh, yeah, to get on this spot. Um, thank you for having us on here. For yeah, this for is sure. So awesome, dude. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see you guys play. Yeah, tomorrow night we talked re- or before the show. I checked out a little bit of your guys' stuff, and hell yeah. <laughs> so, I know there's a few bands on the bill, but for people that might not be familiar, like what kind of music do you guys play? I mean, so, what are some of your influences and stuff when, like that? When Matt and I first started this band back in 2003, four in Zan's basement, we actually modeled the band around like Chappelle and Breaking Benjamin, and that was kind of like how we got our kickoff. We're original. We're not a cover band. Uh, we do every once in a while dab in covers. But now, uh, when we brought it back, uh, Chevelle and Breaking Benjamin are still very much influences. But we have like notes of Wage War, um, I Prevail, Seven Dust, Gemini Syndrome, um, of and Mice and Men. Uh, of Mice and Men. Um, okay. And these are just like stuff. Like like I said, they're that, they're little notes. Little you'll hear some stuff. Uh, we we bring the breakdowns. Um, into our music, uh, just solid. You know, we have, is, to com- we have to compete with the metal community. And Too shit. Yeah. yeah right? um, you know what I? Did, you know family. what I just got like? <laughs> yeah. For sh- I just got like. Do you remember that one show? It was like the hair metal thing where they like just interviewed like metal Rob bands. Uh, 
behind the music. That, you know, no, it was like a radio Rod show. Sh- oh, it was a radio hair, show. Hair hair metal. MTV with Rod Sh- was, it's Rod Schneider, right? And they would do. I don't think so. The MTV music videos. Was that Rod Schneider? Was it? No, I, that wasn't that. Uh, it was Richard Simmons. Uh, Richard Simmons. <laughs> 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 the same guy. Some are. Have you ever yeah. seen yeah. the two of them I, I just at the same time? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Like, you, can do it. Yeah. you can do it. You can do it all night long. Oh, yeah, it's totally screwed that one up. Oh, how, Are okay. you guys talking about Ricky Rackman? No. Nope. Ricky Rackman. Yeah, that seems more <laughs> accurate than oh, Richard Oh, by the way. I'm a pony. Yeah, you said Richard Simmons. That puts a whole different spin on Yeah, the, the dude point. from Headbanger's Ball. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. not Richard Simmons. Yeah. Yeah. That's the ball. show. The Headbanger's yeah. Ball, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. I was like behind so the music. Today. Uh, can I do a quick shout out? You betcha. Yeah. You betcha. Uh, Sean. Sean. Yes. That, Sean. Sean Lawrence, man. Fucking lie. Love you, man. You big fucking curly, beautiful lion. That's uh, also the CEO of and founder for Ground Zero Promotions. Yeah. He can't be here tonight because we're finding out in our as we get older in our 30s that we're squishy. Yeah. Too sure. uh, so we were moving. <laughs> so we were moving furniture. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> all the other day. And he fell. I'm squishy. Eight Total shit, man. Picked up the couch, removed furniture for the rest of the day. Later that night and into the next morning, ended up having to go in the hospital because he squished his damn kidney. Damn. And, like, fucked himself up. What a beast. What a beast. Like, he fucking moved furniture all day, but uh, he can't be here tonight because he's taking care of other responsibilities. Though, I I, I know other information, so hopefully maybe I'm calling him out right now. It's like he's talking about driving out tomorrow night and being here by 9 he's That's at work rad. he took two days off and then had to go back to work to this shit dude so like he's a beast I love you brother thanks for letting me be the screw up tonight yeah <laughs> uh, 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 uh. hey we'll so we of. probably should get in so how do these people win these tickets oh yeah because we do got some people watching and we appreciate everybody that's watching right now we got 11 people that's pretty rad so far yeah. on. so tomorrow night at uh, Oil City Brewery It'll be an amazing show with Sharon of Vintage Future, um, a proof, uh, proof of Life, and um, Perpetual Sloth. I got two awesome tickets I would like to give away. Uh, the first 50 people that comment on the post that is broadcasting right now, uh, 20 minutes after the broadcasting, we will pick the winner and message you personally, and you guys will have your tickets at will call at the front door. And we'll write your name down on, on these tickets for you. Um, We'll get all your information. Don't worry about it. Come out, have fun, invite all your friends. If you win, like tell everybody about it. We're trying to bring the scene back. Yeah, most right, definitely. Right. Music. Yeah. I mean, it's been tough. I mean, with COVID, we all know it is. It's been a pain in the fucking ass. Yeah. And we've just been bearing through it. And the entertainment industry has suffered. Um, I remember being able to actually do this for a living and not have to worry about bills and shit. And now we're all scrounging, and, and it's horrible to change so right. come out to a local show make Casper good again man there's a lot of great good. videos that are going around Oil City Brewery is literally taking the front on this like trying to bring the scene back make sure that other local businesses uh, Frosty's uh, oh, yeah. Bar and Grill um, they're a major ticket hub for Ground Zero for any show that we put on and hopefully for other shows that are for other promotional companies also but they work solely with us with Ground Zero. Actually, there's a really great breakfast menu well, so and like, drink <laughs> menu. Yeah. Um, I totally recommend the uh, you know the chicken. Uh, was it chicken fried Slavin? <laughs> um, there, it's. You need Shout your out to Frosty. Thank you for real. Yeah, dude, I would love to go to a fucking metal show and rip into a burrito. Yeah. 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 Well, that'll be the day after. It'll be the uh, breakfast we'll after the show. Man. Yeah. Remember to bring your That's ticket rad. stubs too when you go. Uh, when you bring your ticket stubs, you get uh, offers at at the bar and the uh, at Frosties and you know all that stuff. Hey, Frosties, consider having breakfast every show. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's really cool that we were able to just bring the Denver music scene here and and get some yeah. really good bands to play yeah. with our bands. Yeah. And you know, we our bands have all just played with each other, you know, and we just need to get some well, different music here and and it's really connect. great. And that's dude, he's 
not even wrong in any mm -hmm. square. No, no. Oh. it's like there's great connections, yeah. great connections throughout the bands and everything, yeah. man. But for to find an avenue that connects everybody to bring the scene back, man. Like Denver I, comes back in, and it's like even with Colorado Springs, it's like we did that too. We we're trying to get right. there and make it more about the bands. It's like. I think we've lost sight of the fact that yes, it is a business. We all can agree this Yo, entertainment yeah, is definitely. a business. It's yeah. an industry. But at the same time, we shouldn't be fighting each other. Or no, we man. Be growth 100% yeah. all the way across the board. He, Jeremy has stepped up to the plate, man, in many ways and forms and has given his total effort. The band repent has just literally became an LLC. Right. I just want to throw that yeah. one out there. Yeah. That's yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Right, dude? Yes. Yeah. So they're doing it, man. Like, and that's the opportunity that every band and anybody who wants to chase this, chase this amazing avenue of entertainment, should just go for it. Like, don't fight it. Don't think that it's a pipe dream because it's not. You're the only person that's going to hold you back. If you yeah. yeah. We we right. brought proof of life back from the dead because we believe in the music scene. And Matt and I have always had this connection um, when it comes to creating music. And uh, you know, and that's, that's the reason why we're here, but not just us, but the, the people that watch us, the people that attend the shows, the people that, you know, the, the likes, the loves, the, the people that share the, the posts, um, the, the encouragement after we get done with the show about how <coughs> we did or how the all events, you guys are the reason why we're doing this. And this is the reason why we're here, you know, yeah. so this, right. Right. this is something that's huge to us and, you know, and we, we want to be able to repay you guys with, you know, great just, music. With bad yeah. 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 badass music. I'm not going to. The last show we did at Oil, yeah. was that not? That was nuts, dude. Oh, we had 12 year olds awesome. headbanging <laughs> right. on stage. Yeah. Headbanging with them. man. Everybody's yeah. having a blast. It was, it's amazing. By the way, at Oil City Brewery, it is all ages. Oh, yeah. Uh, must be accompanied by an adult. Um, Tickets are $10. Please come out tomorrow night. We try to keep it as cheap as possible to make sure that everybody can enjoy the scene. Um, Sharon and Vintage Future are actually super excited about this show. Sharon's amazing. They've been in the scene for, God, for a good minute. Uh, they got a new drummer. Uh, he's pretty sick. Uh, you'll see that Mr. Positive, Mr. Reggie saying hi, bro. Uh, Vintage Future, Scott and all them, dude, solid cats. Um, when I first came back into the scene last year, I fell in love with these guys. They're like steam, I'm gonna probably say it wrong, but steampunk metal. They're insane. They put on a show. Well, right? that's so like, we're like, like he's a vocalist? Oh, yeah, Tiffany, he's Tiffany Armstrong, she um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, she does, man. Yeah. Fucking like for real. <laughs> yeah. I first saw them with actually, uh, when she had joined with them as their singer, I saw my brother's band, Sin on Sixes, First band to sign up with Ground Zero, by the way. Um, yeah. uh, they're, they're cool as hell. They actually are <clears throat> playing with Power Man 5000 coming up. That's Sweet. super fucking badass. That's badass. Yeah, dude. These, I've seen them just twice. Yeah, and they're like, Bound, by, the like, Bound by Years is going on tour and stuff. Like, everybody's, everybody that's involved with Ground Zero has a goal, and it's 100% success for everybody. Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah. point. Coming back into it, it's like, everybody sh it should be. This guy is walking out with thirteen hundred dollars, and the band that fucking sells their soul gets paid fifty bucks and not enough for gas money. Yeah, it's garbage, man. Yeah, it's garbage. Shit. How can you yeah. move forward with your dream if you can't sit there and make money? Yeah, we yeah, are you trying. Can't even afford to fucking go to your next tour dates. Yeah, and and it gets it gets hard, and it's like, yes, everybody needs to make money and have success across the board. That's the point. But right. we we here at Ground Zero have strive to make it to where it's successful for everybody. Like, I want everybody to succeed in, it, in those means of selling merch, being promoted yeah, properly, yeah. seeing into opportunities for festivals or being part of festivals that are out of state. Like, it right. should be for everybody. But the best part is, is that everybody that's part of Ground Zero joins this amazing network of family. And we literally talk to each other all day. You can ask, you can ask oh, these yeah. three. Like, there is a chat for the whole family where we talk and there's opportunity all the way across the board and there's 100% of success. I mean, it's it's not just a business, dude. It's literally a family. And that's why when I say welcome to the GZP family, it's because you're walking into 
That's where, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what, like, that's what's cool about the whole three wheel bicycle thing. It's like, you guys do the same? Guys, I wish I could pay these stuff. motherfuckers, right. man. See, that's, why people, that's why people should listen to you. You know what I mean? The cool thing is, is, the cool thing is about it all is like, we just like come together on a Friday and get a chat with some pretty rad people. And we Stevie have fun. pays me in back rooms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you're not supposed to talk about that. Use that <laughs> Just let it out. It's okay. Yeah, I tell Matt he smells different when he's yeah. awake. Yeah. Almond essence, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Scott, you don't actually melt. No, you don't uh, have to. Scott knows uh, uh, Todd notes of cardamom. And so let's get, those, let's get those comments up there. Yeah, yeah we, the got, we got, we got get those uh, comments up there. I got tickets right here for oh, you. Oh, shit. Tickets. Tickets. So who's all going to show you Thanks tomorrow? for joining the feed. Man. Oh, who's going most to definitely. I got it. I got to come check out. Yeah, I'll check you yeah, out. I, gotta I, gotta come check out I don't know. My, my attendance is kind of on the Dude, fence. Dude, you're not there, man. <laughs> Either one of you. I'm going to be so mad. I guess I'm going to be a I, I'm a, I, I, I think I can sing. So I can't fool you guys' as parts, as bro. I sure as hell can't play. Well, it. here's, here's <laughs> something that's sweet in the pot. So for those of you guys that have seen us uh, play before, uh, anybody that's watching, um, especially those that have been there uh we're introducing two brand new songs yep. mm-hmm. okay. and we actually are doing an upgraded version uh of a song that is something that, something that we absolutely love uh we have a guest that will be um playing with us during that song and we won't tell you <laughs> who until then well, i didn't know about this well, yeah i did <laughs> best so, like I, oh wait yeah i do oh no, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, I, remember. Uh, I, remember. Like, I don't know like, about uh, this. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> but yeah, life. so we're, we're going to be doing two brand new songs, uh, and they are so good. And one of them is one of the heaviest songs we've ever done. We have been busting our ass, yeah, to get uh, nice. to yeah. get this newest song down for for tomorrow's show. They got things awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm still yes. working on recording. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Sure. Uh, Sharon and them just dropped a, actually a music video. Definitely go check out the Fuse Future in Toronto, please. please. Yeah, Dude, they're definitely. coming all the way out. Show them huge support. Uh, oh yeah, and that's uh, like speaking of that too is so I made a post on uh, our our page about how much we absolutely adore the fact that people come to our shows to watch us play, and the fact that the, the, just the overwhelming support and and all of that for us and for you guys coming to see us is great. However. Uh, if more people would stick around to watch the other bands after us is huge because like I said these bands travel hours just to come play a show for one night with us some states yeah some states away you know and we know that metal music isn't everybody's forte right but the support just to be there and just to give them a chance and to listen and just to have fun. It really brings out this drive in every band to see just a sea of people out in front of you. And then they just, it's almost like it gives you this, it's a high that you can't make. Yeah. Yeah. Just to see those people. Yeah. yeah. So we just ask that you guys, after <laughs> watching these bands, uh, the, the, the opening, Us and uh, A Vintage Future, it's to stick around for the headliner because these guys are going to be fantastic. Every band that plays tomorrow night is going to be really well. And it's a shameless plug on us. Yeah. We're going to do good too. It's, uh, it's, they they're really put the shows together well. Uh, they're thought out months in advance. Yeah. This was something that started uh, being discussed in October of 2021. So, bring it to the table too. yeah, we wanted to really take advantage of an opportunity that we were given and kind of give it to everyone else as well. And now we're into the 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 cars out of the garage, man. We're yeah. driving, it, you know. Yeah, right. This is, this is cool. Yeah. I was gonna say we have a lot of so, shows just yeah. this year. Yeah, yeah there's off, right? six like, shows booked. I was like, right? so, there's right? there's a no, I've seven, got like three seven. from my work. It's, I've it's been eight, telling eight, eight, like, uh, Eight shows, so Eight this shows is really good. Out, all the way up leading into July. 
You know, you know it, but it really depends on the people showing up to support the right. incoming band. So we yeah, really right. need Casper to, of, uh, to do little this. A little so. bit of a sneak peek. It's in June, so we do our it's our, our one year anniversary, uh, which is June 18th and June 19th. Big deal. It's, uh, it's going to be a huge fest. 14 bands in two days, two states, uh, two great venues. It will be starting here on June 18th. Uh, you'll have the opportunity. We'll re- release more information about how you get tickets and, and for, uh, you know, be part of that. There's a lot going on. It's going to be great. And then June 19th, we'll be back in Denver at the Oriental Theater. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Is that place rocking, man? Thank you. Just want to sit there and say thank you, Andy, and the Oriental Theater. You guys rock. We were in there through all of it with COVID and everything. Thank you so much. But uh, I will give you a little sneak peek on the on the 18th and 19th, Proof of Life will be on that bill. Yeah. Uh, we're playing at the Oriental. Oh, proof, proof, so proof of Life. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's a dream, man. That, that's yeah, where I saw, saw Treyu for yeah, the first time. Say, yeah, we actually saw a Treyu. So Matt and, the right? Matt and I were, we were having a conversation. I was talking to Matt on the phone. And he was like, yeah, man, dude, Oriental. Hell yeah, if that ever happens, please. And I'm like, Hmm. <laughs> it's a fun uh, stage, man. You guys will like dude, it. Yeah, they play. All right, so yeah, I it's was, a whole yeah, ass theater. It's yeah. like an actual. Yeah. I was in Florida for my birthday last year. Uh, my brother took me uh, out there, and um, they were playing the Oriental Theater, and sadly, it was not there. And that's when uh, motherfucking show day just started, started, started up. And Sean did it out, and you guys were screaming it out. It was fucking awesome. It was so. This is a fucking blast, man. Yeah, it's a good like, stage, man. Yeah, I saw God Flesh there. You guys are having a good time. <laughs> really? Yeah, like December of 2018. Shit. Fucking sick. That's Dude, insane. we had some pretty cool shit happen to us this week. Wow. As far as the three wheel bicycle stuff. I want to hear about this. What you got? We're on the Apple Podcasts now. They actually accepted yeah. us. Really? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Dude, bro. Oh, so we have some cool, Apple. Man. We got some Apple Podcasts listening. Well, not on the live feed, but they will, you know. And then we got Stitcher. We're on Stitcher now, too. And we are the official advert. What is that? Uh, You're the advertising sponsor for us uh, on our tours. So band we band. Band. When, yeah. when we go on <laughs> tour, when we go on tour, we put your guys's logo. We have two tours coming up. Uh, we're just waiting on one day to be confirmed. But we just we're gonna put your logos on every one of our flyers. So because you talk about all the bands in town all the time, and <coughs> we get to come on on your show and do whatever we want, and we just think it's important to uh, uh, give back to that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah that'd be cool. It's so rad. You, you should get, you should send me on tour with a bunch of stickers. Yeah. <laughs> Tag everything. Hell yeah. yeah. So you guys got on Apple. You're on Spotify. You got Facebook. Yep. Uh, been up events. Been doing this for a couple of years. Yep. Yep. Uh, I, I've been helping for like a year. That's what's up. What uh, Stevie started the whole thing. Stevie dude. started it. Founder. It's, this is the guy here. Yeah, it's probably been almost a couple of years, but I've known yeah. these dudes for a long time, so we're all bros. So it's just like. So you're like, I'm gonna broadcast the conversations I have with my best friends online. Because everybody should right? hear this Pretty shit. <laughs> and people laugh. It's crazy. Yeah, it's I mean, just, yeah. Like, yeah, since you know, I walked through the door, you guys have been nothing but like welcoming and I did and a cartwheel eight shit. <laughs> oh that's right. Oh someday I gotta run it back because I don't usually do that bad. <laughs> I forgot about that. So uh, James Yeah. He had this potato chip challenge. Oh, the fucking one shit. Dude, that'll fucking... The hot one? Oh, yeah. Those? He the sent one, a picture, has... The chips are on the way. Dude, I will shit blow. <laughs> Let's Bro, do it. I'm, hey, 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 I gotta... It would be very cool. No. Nope. I gotta shout Josh out. Josh has got People some shout-outs. Josh, you spicy? Oh, do we have James Broman. What's up? Thanks for watching. What's up, James? How's the million doing? Thanks for watching. Tony... That's me. What's up, Ankin? What's up, Tony? What's up? Hey, I'm here live in person. What's up, Jeff? How's it going? Hey, that's how live this podcast gets, bro. 
Fucking, uh, That's some real shit. Yeah. Well, if, we, if we do the one shit challenge, my fucking spirit will leave my body. Dude, I'm you to get seen, my inhaler. You seen those little kids that do it? These little kids right? will eat it and they're fucked. They yeah. won't cry, they won't do nothing. A grown man eats that and says, they to paint it for a week. Fucking throat. My son is like, like, don't close this. Yeah. Like, I'm worried he about the back end, bro. <laughs> Dude, I went to what used to be Lai Thai, the same people that own that place run Thai kitchen now here in Casper but like I told them to make me like an 8 out of 10 I was like make it hot and they're like are you sure and I'm like no like I don't I fuck around with hot food you know and then they're like this fucking white boy thinks he can hang I swear to god like you remember those old Raisin Bran commercials where they had the two scoops you know I, they did that with like ghost pepper I swear to god they're just like and put it in my food and I'm just like <laughs> like fucking spicy. my throat what yeah spicy. my fucking throat literally was like it was like Spongebob without water you know and just like I eat it <laughs> yeah like I was like in the bathroom no well I had to shit before I even left like, bad. my guts were gurgling I made like the predator Dude. Like you're oh, cheap. It's, like, no, it's the same feeling you get after you talk about. No, like, no, no. It's pork meal. Because um, it's not even a my, fucking real meal. Man. That like, sent my <laughs> fucking asshole into the land of wind and ghosts. <laughs> and, uh, like, uh, Was there a Viking fucking funeral at the end? Like, no. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I like hot food as long as it has flavor. And it was good, but I'm eating it. My girlfriend at the time's like, are you okay? And I'm like, uh, fuck you, you're sweating. I'm not sweating, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure that one shit challenge will fuck me up. Uh, It'll I be fun. He has been. Please, please tag me in that because I want to see betcha. the torture you're going to go through. You like, betcha. <laughs> well, see, the crazy thing is, James has been talking about that for a while. Oh, yeah. He's, Remember that? He's been hyping this up yep. since March. Yeah, uh, yeah, good one for you. Do the milk challenge. Oh, man. I'm a milk guy. Get yeah, Stevie, <laughs> Stevie will crush that. Like nobody's my, fucking business. My whole family, my milk whole king. family's from Wisconsin. Oh, wow. man. Yeah, milk. You yeah. suck right and off the cheese. tit, man. Like, I shit you down, right? It's a dairy. <laughs> Found him at six years old when I ate the cow. Like, fucking eight. Cheese curds from there is amazing. No, I was, I was born and raised have, here. Oh, okay. Like, they have milk Look, in a bag. Family That's family funny you say that, man. Catastrophic Curious. Catastrophic yeah. Heroes is uh, one of our out-of-state bands, man, in Wisconsin. Nice. Uh, if you dude, talk shit about really, cheese they bring, curds, yeah, like, dude, uh, yeah, they were here just not too long ago. I got a lot of friends blast. in Wisconsin. Shit, uh, they, dude, they're, they're all they're, eating they're, cheese curds They actually right just now. dropped. They <laughs> Should you are. not mend yeah, up? Yeah, ice machine. You know what's pissing <laughs> me off is they drive right down the road and they get yangling. Right. I'm like, oh, yeah. that's my fucking favorite. It's my PBR, bro. Right. You can only oldest brewery in the United States. I, I go down to Odessa, Texas all the time. I'll dude, bring shit back. dude yeah. I will pay you. <laughs> Be a man okay. and drink Rolling Rock. I'll bring Rock. it back. Oh, dude, yeah. Rolling Rock's, uh, the, so Rolling Rock used to sit there and put on this huge concert in Pennsylvania, okay? It's their main factory. Shut down like five years ago. They started just, but like Red Hot Chili Peppers would play. It was insane, dude. They would do this huge festival right out in the trove. It's this bodink, middle of nowhere place. But for freaking one night, dude, there's like thousands of people. Right. It's right. insane. Nice. It's like, so Greensburg is 45 minutes from Pittsburgh, and it's like 20 minutes in to get to La Trobe, and like it's dark. You don't know where you're at. <laughs> and then out of nowhere, it's like there's this brewing factory, and then there's fucking live music. Right. And uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers did that, I believe, for five years. Fun fact, by the way, speaking about Red Hot Chili Peppers, um, Venice Future, Scott. Uh, it's been building the studio over the years. They just acquired the uh, live um, board, their um, um, for, uh, for sound that they did for tour for 10 years, the authentic original. So that is sitting in his uh, personal studio. I had to brag about that because it's cool as hell. Right. Yeah. 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 Nice. <laughs> nice. So, oh, yeah. Do you get? Do you want to hear some? Do you want to hear some other facts? Yeah. That's <clears throat> yeah. About, about today, today in history. About, about today in history. <laughs> that is one of the things <laughs> like to, uh, you know. Uh, today, not to cut. How about we do shout out to our local shit? Mm. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Katie 
trailer park baker. Yep. Woo woo! If you want a fucking like Megadeth cake or something, she'll do that shit up. Any cake. Oh. Yep. Hell yeah. Badass. She'll do like Vic Rattlehead. Or I something. know who I'm hitting up for. Yep. Badass. Freddy Krueger cake. Yeah. For real? Freddy Krueger. I don't oh, want to yeah. say that right now. Uh, die hard fan of Freddy Krueger. My birthday is July 26th. It scared the shit out I will pay you for my cake. <laughs> She'll also do Freddy Krueger, which is like probably some milk you made at Frosty's after the show. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's cool. Hey, man. She's hot. <laughs> I met her. Everybody gets theirs. Shout out to yeah. the milks. We got. I was not saying I've never killed a puma, but I've choked a few cougars in yeah, my day. Yeah. <laughs> We got they we got suck. Twobbles, yeah, Twobbles, Twobbles tattoo, it Mills. Okay. It's French. Yeah. It's, it's French. French. It's not French. Twobbles. So if I ask You're for a tattoo, is it going? No, nah, for real. Is. If I'm right. these, it's all going to be in French though. I'll go no, 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 no. it's just the name I'm of their sure. place. Yeah. I'm it's sure the only... they're badass. They got real? some badass. Yeah. They're sick. Oh, yeah, all their artists are really good. And I'm sure lots of cougars go there too. Oh, I'm sure. Well, anybody that's a song client. Yeah. You want a badass tattoo? Go to Twombles. Hell yeah. In Mills. You guys open, I will come and get a tattoo. They're right down now. in Mills. The only tattoo yeah. shop in Mills. I'm serious. Yeah. Right open, Mills, open right, 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 right by now, the we'll post office. It. Right by the Oh, yeah. That oh, yeah. 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 I got it. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're looking, badass. I was say, if they're if, open right now, I will totally drive. If you're looking for a burger, burger, head on down to Little Shop of Burgers. Yeah, hell they yeah. They are another sponsor of ours. A little what? Little, little Shop, Shop of Burgers. It's like a horror themed. Oh, like Little, little yeah. Shop of Horrors. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Little Shop. They got yeah. all badass pictures. Dude, sick. Shit in there. They Where's got that? badass burgers. It's, That's here. Yeah, it's up on North. It's on the very end of Center Street. If you go on to Center Street, yeah, I go on there tomorrow before the show. It go all the way to the end. It's really close to your hotel. It's right there. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's where oh, it's just where Lock used to I be, right? Yeah, yeah. it's probably it's probably yeah. six blocks oh, away from the hotel. You know, you know what I realized? Like, <coughs> you know, oh, shout out our sponsors all the time. Oh, and shout out to Mobile Onside Oil. Mobile Onside Oil. Yeah. <laughs> I never shout Vanderheim Design out. Why not? You literally do I, that every do you even know Do that I? Guy? Do you know but that? But if you're looking for some good artwork, spray paint art, you can just yeah. hit me up on that Facebook page. Who has 2,000 oh, dozen art? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just not, not, not me. He does. Anybody that's listening to you that's not watching, uh, we go live every Friday night on Facebook, 8 p.m. ish. Also, in the show notes, all the links are in there. We're going to have the Proof of Life. We're going to have the Ground Zero. All them cats. Thank you. We got yes, everything. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. We and you know, that. you know, it's, you know, one thing that kind of trips me out, and I really, just because, like, you know how earlier you were talking about a lot of work goes into what you do? Oh, absolutely. A lot of hard work. Everybody. Type in work. all that Are you kidding shit me? up what? on the podcast. So, no, no, no. so like, it. I was. Very it is, but it's rad that people actually, well, not only that, but are like, yeah, that's cool, man. Just throw my stuff up on there. Yeah. And we got some pretty rad people that follow us. You Dude, know what I mean? Taking, taking, the way I look at it man, is to take five minutes of your day to say thank you to somebody, take, to set up a post for some something that you give your effort and your life team like, yeah like you believe in this i believe in this like ground zero i believe in 100 percent, dude there's nothing more than i want to do than make sure that everybody gets a chance i got to do this already. I, I, I toured for ever on the east coast in a folk rock band as a harmonic player but like to see others succeed yeah it shouldn't be right. hard it Rising shouldn't be hard man. Books. well that's all we're Should. trying to do and you guys are doing it and it's wonderful artists. man like it's great dude like, trying to is... get trying to get local trying to get anybody anybody that wants to yeah. hang I'd be happy to sit let's there promote everybody let's I'd be, all be family I'd be happy I have for every show that we have from here on out dude just come in uh, the day or yeah the day you in the back right what? yeah be so, be, and that's be that's happy what was my thought I mean, I, we haven't yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah we'll talk <laughs> yeah we haven't had a chance to right. you just got in just a little yeah. bit ago dude I <laughs> I've been up since six o'clock this morning. I haven't stopped. I've been working on 
other projects, Motherfucking Show Day, uh, which is another podcast. It's a partnership with uh, Ground Zero that will be releasing later this year. Uh, unique advertisement, marketing, and networking. Funny videos all the way across the board because every day is Motherfucking Show Day! <laughs> Fucking, it's been dumb. It was, it was so much fun starting it up. <clears throat> Actually, um, Percy Heretics, the lead front woman, uh, Karina, uh, <laughs> she said in a comment board one time, she's like, it's motherfucking show day. And I literally butted in and I was like, I'm stealing this. <laughs> I'm going to make it something. And ever since then, I just started kind of fucking around with it. Band Repent and all them joined in with us halfway in our first year. And they're like, they were on tour this last summer, man. And they're like, where's our motherfucking show day? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we was up in Seattle and it was show day and uh, he sent us a, we're getting into band getting ready to go to the fucking show or something in the morning and he sent us a fucking video it's, all personalized to us it's, it's supposed to be fun and, awesome. and it's a way to sit there and get people to be more mm-hmm. in depth with the scene and that's kind of the point of it well and then when the kids don't have school you can be like it's a motherfucking snow day I almost yeah. did that. <laughs> I literally almost did one from when we did it actually I got called out from uh, Larissa she runs up uh, with her, Herman's Hideaway in Denver one of the venues we were and she literally posted some of these. I'm a little disappointed I didn't get a motherfucking snow day. Like, it was always tomorrow because it was bad weather for two days. So. Oh, I'm sure it'll happen. <laughs> I'm sure. Right. What? Yeah. Oh, uh, a comment from the audience. Just piggybacking on the whole, like, how much work it is in shouting out the venues specifically. Like, in Casper, Wyoming, you. for the longest time, it was oh, there's not enough local music. Like, why aren't people doing more? And the people that have lived here forever, me, um, it's always been like since the underground isn't a thing anymore it's always like we need venues we need all these live shows to come back and it's like these bands are out here working so hard promotion companies are working so hard it's not going to succeed if you don't fucking show up yeah. Yeah. that's yep. the thing it's like if you don't <laughs> music they love they're still showing up all the time because they want the local music to succeed and unless you're going to do that like stop bitching about it because we have to have people <coughs> showing up no matter what and you never know yeah. you might not think you like a genre of music until you show up to a live show and then you fall in love with a certain type of music which is exactly what happened to me I've, As uh, a young I've been won over by many of bands me too right yeah right I didn't I mean, necessarily well, like exactly. It's, yeah. it, the whole yes. thing is these venues are not going to succeed. These places are not going to stay open. These bands are not going to succeed if you don't show up, A, and be willing to pay a whole whopping $10 to get in when you're spending $40 exactly. a freaking week on Starbucks. I'm a firm, bl- I'm a firm believer It's like, it's effects. $10. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. Go in. Yeah. Buy their merch. Most it's of it's all. Buy their two merch. Cups of well, it's not even that. It's like, you're going to go spend 300, $300 to go see your favorite band. You're going to travel out of state and pay for a hotel room and spend yes, close to like that, thousands of dollars yeah. to sit there to go see your favorite band that yeah. only tours every once in a while that's been around for the last 20 years. But you're going to spend 10 bucks, it's two blocks up the road from your house. Right. Hell, not even an hour away from your house. Stop complaining about there's yeah. nothing to do well, in Casper. There's there are so live much. shows all the time. And not well, only is it here, local first music. I was here for our show, dude. I couldn't believe it. I was like, nice small town. I was greeted. There's a lot to do here. There's a lot here. There's a lot of opportunity for right. the bands. I don't understand why. There was a time when our local pitching. music yeah. scene was thriving. It was insane. Thriving. It was oh, it's huge. I was I have heard. And, and, like there is there is a way to make that happen again. And it all comes down to showing up, supporting the venues, supporting the bands, <laughs> buying their merch, and doing what you need to do to make local bands, people that you know. Yeah. You literally know these people. Like, why are you not showing up and supporting these people? Yeah. They're your friends. Well, and here's the thing is also on top of that, your your favorite band that you love to listen to, you buy their CDs. And I'm not talking about local. I'm talking about the big name bands that you see, that music videos. Right. They were once us. Yeah. You know oh, I mean? yeah. Like, they, they were once yeah. what, we, what we're doing right now. And it took that support. Yeah, exactly. and, and on top of the yeah. fact that being respectful – in the venues too is a huge thing not breaking shit uh 
not starting fights, not doing any of that. It's also a huge thing to these venues um, to show, and especially with metal music yeah, bands. Right. We have a, there's already a bad connotation that they think that all metal bands are just disrespectful. The, the people that come to the shows are disrespectful, and that's why a lot of venues do not support metal bands. Yeah. I think it's a bad stigma, but if you'll ever yeah. come in, anybody who's ever came into the crowd, man. We are one of the biggest, most Dude. caring communities. Like, most I, think I, I, think I, 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 scene. I like I've to sit there and think we're the tougher emo kids. I've been, <laughs> that, I've been in that since I was younger. I hung out in the scene when, I don't know if I'm supposed to say names of people, but like, you know, the old bands from around here. I hung out in all that stuff when I was a kid. Yeah. It should thrive through. It was it was different than people were well, like a dude, community. You hung yeah. out with everybody. It was yeah. all on the same page. You look forward to your Friday and Saturday nights. Well, dude. I so right. like, I went. We went to this festival, and it's a yearly thing. It's been happening for a few years, but it's Fire in the Mountains Fest. We went in 2019, and it's like in the Tetons. You gotta fucking walk your food up in these trailers because there's literally grizzly bears. Like, it's the part of the lower 48 that's the most bears. And that nobody is fighting. There's like 900 people. No one's fighting. Everyone is picking up their trash. Fucking, uh, everyone is being considerate of like, the wildlife, keeping stuff out of the river because there's a river that ran right on the stage. Uh, if you can get 900 metalheads to go along with that and be respectful. Yeah. I would say yeah. that stigma is not right. always the best. Right. Yeah. Right. Dude, you, yeah. can, you can literally, it's like Dave Grohl, all of them. You see all those videos on TikTok. It's like when somebody gets each shit, they will literally stop the fucking yeah. show yes. yeah. to make sure that they get picked the fuck up and have fun. Dude, I, I just watched one of the videos where like, Dave Grohl picks up that kid in the wheelchair and puts him on stage. Yeah. And they break that fucking guitar, dude. Smash the shit out of him. The crowd goes fucking ape stuff, man. It's. Right. They knew what it is. They still keep up. It's not like they're he's excited. To, he's trying to keep okay. it PG. It, sort of. Like PG plus. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So yeah, the one thing Sean yells at me a lot is that my favorite word is fuck. And I will. Step, <laughs> step into my <laughs> office. Smack in the chair. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Long. Oh, you're saying bomb. Yeah, I would rather you say fuck than pound the table. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I was like, fuck. Like, uh, oh, do you guys want to hear shit that happened today? Yes. Or happened in history? <laughs> oh, in man, history? I have that good segue. What's up, Henry? Thanks for watching. Shout out to King Henry because we're doing history. Yeah, yeah. No, actually, that guy is kind of. Here's good smell of menstruation, Justin. Like. <laughs> oh, February 18th, 1882. Here's good smell of menstruation. Oh, my. Mark Twain published The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Oh, yeah. Mark Twain did. Yeah. He published Huckleberry Finn. Today, huh? Yeah. It is cool. I hated that book. And the reason why I hated that book... (laughs) School made you read it? Exactly. And I got confused. Just like... What's that? I read it in jail. No, Romeo and Juliet. (laughs) Awesome (laughs) story, but like... I, like they the, made us watch like Leonardo that Romeo one. Yeah, they made us watch you that. You <laughs> see right. Barrel? And you didn't have to take a test on it. Know? I'm like, I just remember Sorry. that gun. <laughs> <laughs> so what Dumb. else happened in history? Uh oh, oh, this one's for just Josh because he's oh. a Ray Charles fan. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, 1959. <clears throat> what did I say? Was released. Right. Was released really? on air. Yeah. Yep. And Atlantic Records. Right you were broadcasting back then, man. For that was a huge deal. Everybody would tune in for fucking things like that. Right. Yeah. yeah there was dude. like one big promotional company, oh, yeah. and it was the radio. Yeah. Like, yeah. Ray Charles is. Guy, if you, if, even if you watch the movie, read some of the biographies. Yeah. Right. I'm a well. I'm a blues jazz man. Like as much as a metalhead as I am in rock and roll, I, roll, I, dude, I sing. I I'm sing, a folk rock artist. <laughs> I sing. I got a woman. Yes. Like, yeah, I do harmonica like, and shit, man. I've been over 15 years of it. Like it's amazing. Muddy Waters. My grandparents used to, to it and have us dance on the table 
when I'm like five and six years old. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of toot my own horn. I don't perform on stage anymore, but I have got the opportunity to play the Ryman Theater twice. Nice. I stand in the exact same place of where BB King is, Jay Lee Lewis, yeah. Elvis. Awesome. I about, I, I don't. I will be on stage again one day, but like that was enough of me talking about me. But like seriously, dude, that fucking is my life right there. Like I have right. a That's huge right. passion for that. I'm actually uh, a folk musician myself. Oh, I play because I'm like a singer songwriter. Oh. Right. Dude, the, the, in Nashville they have a really great following for this. Yeah, I do yeah. all. It's all finger picking stuff because I literally just cannot play acoustic. Like, that's but impressive. I'm trying to make like acoustic metal. I don't know. I'm working on it, but like uh, I might be dropping something pretty soon. So oh, nice. yeah. Dropping that's that fire. That's what I'm talking about. Go for it, dude. Okay. Yeah, all about that. No, like for real, for you guys coming back in the scene solid. Thank like, you. Like you jumped on the bill, we started talking to each other, and you're like, yeah, we're going to do this. Yeah, absolutely. But it was you and. Uh, Dom, man, they came out for the uh, January 29th show yeah. on Roxy. That was nuts. That was probably, that was probably, that was really great. Job. That was dude, such Your a... set was fucking insane, that, dude. Like, thank you dude, so you guys know what <laughs> else is crazy about <laughs> Ray Charles is, like, he was just totally zonked out of his mind on heroin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He judged like, women uh, on who he's going to sleep with by the size of their wrist. It's like, Ooh, yeah. you don't want to have Ray? Blind, you, you know, was... you like him thick. You know what was crazy so when, I read that? <laughs> when I read that thing today? So, no bullshit, when I was out here painting the other day, so, like, I'll have the TV on, it's just, like, obviously, like, antenna shit. But it's usually uh, Frasier, which, eh, the only cool thing about Frasier is that it was, like, in a, like, radio station or whatever. Yeah, Comedy yeah. was lame. But then there's Roseanne. Dude, bro, and she has, and, she's still doing stand-up. Yeah, well, then after that was the nanny. Ray Charles <laughs> was on the nanny. Yeah. Was he really? Yeah, I did not know that. Dude, that <laughs> did you know she did porn? Yeah. Did you know she did porn? Um, the she nanny. Did that friend? Yeah, be she right was... back. I gotta. <laughs> <know what's going laughs> she, did, she did a hustler and a Playboy layout. And uh, I what's your Wi-Fi about, password, um, bro? Uh, <laughs> is it pancake? It's called, it, it's called collecting magazines. You kids out there nowadays have. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. The oh, internet yeah. is for porn. That's it. Collecting. Dude, I'm. Dude, there's a lot of mattress to this thing. No, bro. bro I emanated I'm, and put in categories. Oh, this is like. Alpha, the, 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 fuck yeah, dude. Dude, I'm I killed. 1956. Fucking vintage. Fuck you for calling me out on my bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I killed like three of our family computers just trying to find one. Dude, you, you oh, gave it AIDS, 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 bro. Oh, you shit. gave it AIDS. Yeah. yeah. It's like you U-Torrent, torrent, U-Torrent, LimeWire, FrostWire, all that shit, Napster. Fucking yeah. FrostWire. Yeah, that was another one, too. Way to give it herpes, man. Is that like a Sub-Zero for What's Mortal up, Kombat? What's up, bro? Thanks for watching. So, no. I, I love the fact that we have just been bullshitting and having a great time for this whole night. Thank yeah, you so man. much. That's, that's, that's what this, yeah. get that's what this is about. Like, it's been, well, it's been seven years, man, since I've been on a pro, uh, on any type of radio or podcasting. Mm-hmm. And uh, Sean usually handles this shit. So, this is <laughs> right. so Really? Yeah, well, this hey, you know first, what? I'm glad you guys took time. Charlie it's brought it up. Yeah. Man. If there's anybody I really want to sit there and say thank you to, it is your drive, man. Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah. You are a shining star, bro. Like, yeah. you came in. Turn the camera. Zoom in. Like, <laughs> no, like he saw what, we were, what was going on in the scene. And oh, we yeah, man. We weren't we were yep. shit, dude. And he, but he liked what we were doing. He was like, it's family. We take care of it. It's everybody going. And then he ran with it. He was like, hey, man, I got these dates. Full I throttle. have this idea. I, I want to give more. Selfless. Like, I'm right. The only time I've ever pay, paid Jeremy is when we do shows. Everything he does for Ground Zero and for the benefit of everybody else out of the scene and with Ground Zero for what he does on his personal time, dude, is phenomenal. Yeah, he's 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 helped us out. He's uh, plugged our name uh, as well. So um, was, uh, if it wasn't if it wasn't <laughs> for, if but it yeah. wasn't for Jeremy, like. 
dude, it's it's right. Y'all wouldn't. Y'all probably wouldn't even be here. Are you having fun tonight? No bullshit. Oh yeah, most definitely. Like most definitely. Get around, get to meet new people. Yeah. None of us would have known each other. Hell, I didn't know you guys until you guys came to Oh, right. January 8th. January 8th, okay. Yeah. Oh, shit, you got yeah, a date. Like, and that was our first band zero show. Yeah, it signed up that no. fucking night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we kept telling him, you're, you're going to like us. <laughs> well, we, get, we weren't even off the stage yet. And he was yeah. like, so, <laughs> so when when yeah. are you going to jump on? So Sean and I uh, have country roots, man. Like, we grew up with country, Motown, the worst in the back. Oh, yeah. He yeah. is my brother founder is way die hard more into the into the metal scene than I am. I dabble, I have my favorites. I have a certain type that I like. But we do everything rock and metal. Everything that right. falls in between that. So it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. When proof of life when I started I was like asking questions and then I got to finally meet them. The night before the show, they were like, Well this is what we sound like I was like oh, oh my god. I remember going to see like three days grace and fucking like live dude backstage when I did like working with one oh four point three WZYP and shit man. That was so fucking awesome and then Chevelle I was like, if that's where it's at, and I was like, we're gonna have a blast. Yeah, so. Uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. You kind of yeah. about people watching. Oh, well, they should watch more. Hey, shout yeah. out to all you yeah. fucking man. Jesus. Thanks for watching, Mom. I'm a blast. Mike, is my Michelle, mom? I think everybody. Dude, is that my Maybe mom? Yes. Can I? It's our mom. mom. It's our mom. I want to, I do want to see you. I, I, I linked her up. I really, it really that's sucks Michelle. that Jake. Yeah, yeah, Michelle was like that. Easy size. Tell grandma and tell grandma and dad I love them. I'm <laughs> glad you all's moms got to hear me talk about my LimeWire SD. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey man, everybody yeah, makes SD for them. Yeah. Like, yeah. If I think all makes of our moms are probably as long as you're touching me on the other hand. All of our moms. No, you gotta sit on it first. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. Once again, we are here with Ground Zero Promotions and with Proof of Life. Yep. The three wheel bicycle, Jeremy, with the Ground Zero promotions and, and the no, band Ray Pan. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah! I fucking love you guys. Ah. Man. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. just it was really, really like shouting out to Jeremy because honestly, he was like one of the very first like guests. Yeah, like, serious guests on. Yeah, we did some major announcements that, that dude is like one of the hardest. The band Ray Pan was the very ever. first band really on first band. the Three Wheel yeah, Bicycle yeah. Podcast. Yeah. Hell yeah, man! Like yeah. just nice. classic That's cool. was like, hey, working hard, working hard, yeah. working hard. Right. You can have bands on, they're like, yeah, we're doing And every time he's like, dude, like, we got all this shit. Let's so fucking come I, on your show. Uh, one time crazy. you guys came to my house after the show. And <laughs> so fucking <laughs> rad. We were dude. so fucking drunk. <laughs> it was such a terrible thing. We should not have played. How long have you been sober now? Oh, uh, like maybe seven months now. There nice. you go. Look at that. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. There you go. Shout out to that. For real. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. So, that was a rad night. night. That was a rad night. Very memorable night because shout out to T Boner because, yeah, he T-Boner. was a part of the three wheel bicycle. He was with us that night. Yeah. That was the night that we all sat here and filmed that. You have to preface that. And right? then we went. The- it was my brother. The, the Travis Roach things covering it. He was the other. He was the other guy. He's the guy that consistently motivates me to do this shit. Hell yeah! Because I know that like if I yeah, stop, he's busy. gonna be like, "You fucking pussy, dude. What's your problem, man? <laughs> keep going. <laughs> keep right. going. That's why I tattooed you that. Keep shit looking at this day in history, right? Exactly. Kick you in the dick. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah, we are excited for the show tomorrow. We're excited for Road and Avenue's yeah. future. Are you guys Honor. coming to check us hey, out? Yeah. You gotta get like, away from oh yeah. So well, we've been talking about it. I was we were gonna. I was gonna let you guys boast the hell out of it. We explain like, how to win the tickets. Yeah, we're... absolutely. So for Morgan Fizz. Oh, mm-hmm. hey Morgan. Uh no. Um, <laughs> sorry, my um, I'm, I'm yeah. thinking. I was really thinking about champagne for a second there. That's an inside joke. Hi, Morgan. <laughs> um, <laughs> well. Yeah, sorry. Uh, fuck you. All right. Um, so it's the first 50 people to comment uh, within the, um, the post will be contacted 20 minutes after this is done uh, broadcasting. Um, we will will call those tickets. 
uh, with your name on them at the front door. Just come as you are. Please bring friends with you. They got some pretty good food for um, you, too. Wow. Yeah, ice cream for rings is there. Uh, so Yet uh, again, make sure you comment, you like. Go on to buy a three-wheel bicycle, man. <laughs> comment, like, follow, share, everything you can. Go on Ground Zero to the same. All the bands that are involved, anything that you have for information for this local scene, keep it thriving. Share it, like it. The more you're involved, the better everybody does. Right, yes. These guys, man, they 100%. do it out of, their, out, of the, out of their heart, man. And it's like, so do we, everybody else here. Yeah. They take their time out of their day to make sure that everybody is taken care of and is taken care of the scene. Well, dude. It's it's like, trying to promote it's local, local, man. Let's yeah. make shit And they happy. say metalheads just, you know. We have some of the, the best scene. music come out of this place. Not only just metal, I, literally. The rap scene is blowing up here. Places. The country music scene's always I've on fire. I've lots of places, and you know what I'm actually really love? Shout out to Travis Oliver. He's killing it, too. He's got a lot of stuff coming up. Yeah, shout out to Travis. So, yes. love Dude, that. You know what I, I actually love in Wyoming? You can fucking go to a bar and see, like, old cowboy singer-songwriters, you know what I mean? Like, dudes that probably have five albums that they've love made you, just fucking around since, like, the 80s, but they're, like, diamonds in the rough. You know, like, yeah. Just hit Right, like you find that sometimes, like Jason uh, Ford solo, but just find himself in a guitar. Is still fucking well, see, that's like that, man. When it comes, when it comes to music, just period, and like on a real serious note, like without it in your life, where would you think you'd be? Oh, I would have been nuts. Oh, I, I couldn't. I, exactly. There's, there's a time I was homeless. I'm like a techno man. Do you not? Are you not? Like 15, for even, but we'll, I mean, even I, get a, I, we'll get a little emotional for you. Tell me that there's not a set of songs that you literally right. either cry, be pissed off at, that you immediately on fucking go and play a repeat because it hasn't hurt you enough because you listen to it. Right? <laughs> it's right. Yeah, right. Like, one of the worst things that I, besides cigarettes, that I jones for when I was in jail yeah. was music. It drove me crazy. Yeah. There's like, a time, gotta listen to music. like even when I was homeless, all I had was like a little CD wall. 10 CDs in it, that was like my only comfort. Right? Yeah. I'll like right. literally give blood right. to have see, yeah. batteries for my fucking <laughs> for sure. Panasonic CD player that I had to tape yeah. together with electric. I'd be oh. on the same page. <laughs> oh, sure. Art, I'd be on over the same page. Give yeah. me money for batteries. I don't Dude, give a fuck. Yeah, about get, get all the season to for your tape day. player, man. Get it over, tape over the side of your uh, cassette tape so you can record oh, whatever yeah. off the right. fucking radio. I just right. remember yeah. going right. insane yeah. trying to. Nobody knows about that shit anymore, man. Dude, I had the old Sony. My dad got me the big, huge boombox. Hi, Megan. I used to record. Yeah, over German. stuff. Dude. Yeah. Me and my buddy Eric would just be like in farmer over Metallica and like try to make Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you used to actually have to mix tape. So right. that's that was like the cool thing, man. Like over the years and stuff, like I got to learn how to do analog taping and recording. This digital shit blows my fucking mind. <laughs> right. Like it makes it so much easier and complicated at the same time. Yeah, I'm used to dealing with 64 switches, not five fucking buttons and 64 options. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to hit the wrong option. Or I'm gonna where I'm at. Well, I was yeah. looking at your setup. I was like, okay, bro, you have fun. This is fun. old. Uh, uh, yeah, it is. This When this came out. Dude, what is I that, a mini jump. board? And the, it's a chaos. Chaos? Okay. Chaos. Was it 2010? Pro. 2010? No, hell no, dude. This thing came out. Oh fuck! You got me being. I wouldn't know. So <laughs> yeah, when oh, you awesome. fucking unwrap <laughs> it, like, dude, I want one of those so bad. When you unwrap this it thing, the shop, was like, <laughs> when you unwrap this thing, there's so, actually like, it just plays MC Hammers. You can't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. It's like, dude, yeah, 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 yeah. but it's uh, like hand all, clap. It, all it is is a <laughs> synthesizer that does your. Who did the, who on did the, the X axis yeah. and it does all your tone and everything on the Y axis. So, so who did the intro it? for the show? My daughter. Okay. Yeah, with the Beavis and Butthead and everything. Uh, uh no, that's, that's I took I did take the together. clip. Okay, I, I took the clip, but so crazy story about that. So mm-hmm. one night, I almost want to say it was after you guys <laughs> left. I had that long table still set up. And Mabry was out here. And, like, 
she was bored. And <laughs> I was just like, all right, here you go, sweetheart. And she's like, choo, 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 a three-wheel bicycle. And I'm like, <laughs> she kind of oh, my God, do that again. <laughs> do that again. Like, she literally cut a promo. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it works good. She also thinks she has her own podcast. Yeah. Just one oh, yeah. Week. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's amazing. That, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Should like, do I option want clips of that. Yeah. Yeah. So, how many comments are we at? Does anybody know? A lot. Um, uh, I got. We got sixty-one watching. We have what? Fifty-one comments. Fifty-one. Fifty-one comments. Number. We need everybody that's watching to post. Yeah, I was gonna say like, yeah, numbers. share this. So, so we share make this too easy on me. Share it. Share it up, please. Hey, oh. You're just picking somebody at random, right? I will. We will be. We will all sit there and debate that after the show. Megan okay. says, what's up, Jerry? Yeah. Well, I make I'm master debaters. So. Master. Are you a master debater? Master debater. Debater. Mm. I got to give master some master shout outs to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, obviously, ready for the champagne. Shout outs to. We got to give some <laughs> shout outs to some other podcasts. The Fumbled oh, Penis Podcast. Yeah, yeah. Fumbled, what? Fumbled Penis Podcast. Fumbled Penis? Fumbled. Fumbled Penis Podcast. It is. It's pretty yeah. rad. It's pretty rad. I dig it. Yeah. And you know what? You know what else is cool about that guy? He's helped me with this podcast. Too. He's given you. See, yeah, he's, he's given me advice. And stuff like yep. Yeah. Rad dude. Stuff like rad that. dude. Cool and then we got the Sunday brunch with Bob and Ray. They're local nice. as well. Uh, they gave us a shout out last week too, which was pretty rad. I'm still waiting for you guys to have me on and make like some quiche or something. We gotta have brunch. Yeah, <laughs> let's oh, do Sunday brunch. brunch yeah. Is that like John if, you don't eat, brunch if you don't eat quiche, then fuck you. Like, yeah. Like, like, all right. No, they are pretty cool. Right? Like, get the fuck off the. What right? kind of podcast do they have? What's, what's so the name of their shows. podcast? Sunday brunch. They they do cooking. No, no. Oh, oh no, but that's they, what I said. Uh, I was like, man, they they're brunch. still cool. Yeah, they do trivia. So they do right. trivia. Yep, that's every time cool. their guests come on the show, they do trivia with them, which is really rad. Yeah. I kind of wanted to do it too, but then it'd be like a rip off of their show, and that's not cool. No, no. You well, know I got what some I mean? ideas. Too. I got some ideas. <laughs> hey, man, spread the love. Just have them come on the show. They have been on, they and they are going to be on right? again. We were thinking about having a spelling bee, oh, and then, a <laughs> idea. but whoever yeah, whoever loses has time. to like take a shot yes. or oh, drink yeah, or whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's I like big words, and I can't not lie. <laughs> but spelling I'm horrible I have a vocabulary but if yeah. you were to ask me how to spell vocabulary I'd be like fuck yeah I need, well, a it takes I need a to write minute. it down <laughs> well, sometimes you'll, you'll, you'll say it out loud or you'll think about it you're allowed to have a so right down and you're like so everything, right, but so everything you see us post and everything if I'm posting it or whatever I send it to Sean to make sure it's approved for you <laughs> and he's like Mike Fuck, bro. They're like, <laughs> he's like, let me do the writing. All right? No, no, it's fine. It, it, it's gotten to the point where it's like, I've learned, yes, thank you, Sensei. Um, Jeremy gets the same way. Yo, I'll be like, I'll look at something, I'm like, that's perfect, but let's add some pretty words. <laughs> well, I didn't know a mount had one M until like six months ago. What <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> motherfuckers are talking about, like, I can speak a language, but I can't write it or read it. Yeah. I M's is only one. Yeah. How long have we been around? Without there? that Gwen Stefani song, I'd be like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I should have played it up. I should have played it up. No, it's like B A N A N A Nanas. I had a girlfriend. <laughs> I, I had a girlfriend. I got in an argument with her about that song, and I was like, no, fuck you. There's two ends. And she's like, I'll play the fucking song. And she owned me right into the ground. I was like, fuck me. So I guess it is for a reason, right? Yeah, that's okay. not a good spell. That, I'm like, we should see other people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not real. You're uh, a fucking asshole. Why are you gonna point that shit out? But I was just like, all my so life has been a lie. I thought it was two ends, dude. I still can't believe it. I, dude, 
Okay, How do you so spell? it's like it's pronouncing words is another one too. Like precision. I can't fucking. I just, Pre- what did you say? Exactly. You know what <laughs> I meant, though. Yeah, right? You know like, that's I what I, 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 I give you an excuse. I call it mic speak, but it's like I mean to say this word. This word, and you know what the fuck I meant to say. But you're gonna correct me anyways. Just said it fucking yeah, wrong. It's yeah. like fuck it's you. Just, just, yeah. Just let me get it on with your life. Yeah, I wish sometimes <laughs> like uh, talking had autocorrect. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It was amazing in college. That would be in college, wild, writing man. papers when they came out with Dragon Speak. <laughs> when you could when you when you uh, when you were writing papers instead of having to actually type all that bullshit out and you could just talk and it would fucking put it on the paper. God, dude, that was so easy. That made life easier. I was like. Now, I can only imagine for, like, kids that are in school what? now. They don't even know how to just curse them now. Do you know that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They don't know how to read a fucking analog fucking goddamn Dude, blog. fuck okay. cursive. It's like, oh, is it a Q I mean, or a Z? Okay. I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Fucking whoa. 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 style of writing. Hey, right there. that made it fucking... I learned cursive. I had a spelling book Dude. in third grade. That cursive in the back, yeah. all the fucking alphabet. I, I mean, I'm gonna tell you right now. Yeah. I fucking sat yeah. at home and I practiced. We used to have some right. school, about and I signed my grade, name. So. And my teacher's like, "Oh, we don't even know how to do that yet. You can't yeah. do that." Fuck like, off! Well, I, I just learned it. Yeah. 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 I, I used like, to. My mom and dad taught me. Damn it! Like I used to get in trouble for writing <laughs> the wrong, like, because you know how the you chart would written. say the arrows which way. I would get in trouble for doing it the wrong way. So as soon as I got out of school, I'm like, I'm wiping my dick with this cursive. (laughs) Fuck cursive. I was going to say my The band cursive is pretty cool. Yeah. My second grade teacher, I remember doing cursive in there. And shit will always stick with me. It's like ballet dancing. You know what I mean? It's, it's like very it's, graceful. It is. It's graceful. What? It is. Fuck my yeah, house. Like, <laughs> I'm not shit you not, man. If you look at my fucking, like, any cursive I do, you're like, how the fuck is that anything? Yeah. It's all a bunch I, of scribbles, man. I don't even think I sign my name anymore when I do my signature. I think I just sit there and go. Yeah. Well, it's all yeah. those stupid things. <laughs> uh, right. Did this guy that. have a seizure? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah no, I sign my happened. name fucking nice. And then lots of people. Yeah, dude. Not me. I don't give a fuck. Digital digital pants piss me off. I'm like, dude. (laughs) Yeah, dude. It makes you look like it's like you're two years old learning on it. If you look at the Frosty's (laughs) menu for the fucking Ground Zero shit and the motherfucking show day after, our signatures are next to our favorite dishes and shit. You know, like chicken fried slamming and shit. Mine's there. When you look at it, you're like, oh, that must have been cute. He must have had his nephew fucking. Yeah. Oh, did this guy write on the etch a sketch? He just like should have just did it in fucking crayon. Like to be honest, like. Hey, tell me about it. You go and do some of these art shows and shit, and then you got people that are like. Yeah, but you have a steady. Oh hand, my right? god! Like, like yeah. my kid can do that. Do you do uh, Clark? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, fuck you, man. Do you do Clark? Brad, kids. I, dude, I. Do not to brag myself up, but I do oh, have do a so. very. Build that shit. I very, hear, very nice handwriting, and I've been complimented. I so if know, I need like the Declaration of Independence to be scrolled on a fucking piece of parchment, and I gave you, you know, not exactly the way yeah, it was. Pump the brakes. Yeah. I could do it in my own way. Ass, I could right? do it in my own way. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Well, so you should look into that, man. A lot of bands are always looking for like really good um, photography for, for, the for their for, of like for the inside of their really? uh, yeah for their books. Yeah. Stevie's writing sounds like almost like a tagging like. Oh, I actually, oh. I'm not. Oh, oh my god, I'm not gonna. Say what company oh, okay. it was or anything. That's probably not too. But it rhymes with Schmalenburton. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking no. Uh, There's two. Tools I was I was little. working at this paint company, right? And then when you come in, <laughs> and then fucking like. <laughs> so you're right. You know what I mean? Like, okay, yeah. whatever company. Shit, you know. Then you write on there. I was no longer allowed to write on there because my handwriting was too weird, graffiti like, and uh, gang related. Uh, and you know what? You know what the crazy thing is? I could fucking, well, obviously I can read my own handwriting, <laughs> but most people that came in were like, yeah, to like some of the other people that. Were, <laughs> so, uh, uh, so here's, here's like, the thing how I feel about it. Like, all right, my dad. 
military, so he signed so many documents. That I could literally forge his signature. My mother is the same way. So when I was in school, dude, I used to have to get my homework signed off. And you know your mom's I, on. I know she's on the story, so she can ber- braid my ass, man. I got So I, I literally forged her signature and my dad's signature on my homework for months. Rap right, pep rally. Fucking helicopter from local news in bumfuck nowhere, New Hope, Alabama. Literally, should you not, K through 12. I'm sorry, my education's not well. I get a call from, I get a call over the intercom. Michael Slavin, please come to the front office. My mom and the dad are there and my fucking science teacher. And they fucking confront me about fucking forging signatures. <laughs> it was, whoops. It was bad. I was really happy, man, because the cheerleader that was on the team at the time, I had just made out with her the night before. So, like, I was pretty stoked about it. Yeah, this motherfucker's yeah, out here forging hey, for, for, for a five foot eight. 145 pound pimple face kid, man. You damn right. I was in. I was in my groove, dude. I was not gonna fuck that up. No doubt. I was yeah. <laughs> I took the door off my fucking room. Oh yeah, that's not. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, you know. Like, I got dude, grounded. Privacy. For, take away your privacy. Oh, I got grounded. Uh, for, uh, hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got grounded for losing food stamps one time. <laughs> when was the the that's basically yeah. like. Throwing money. <laughs> no, it literally yeah, is. Yeah. Do you yeah. remember when food stamps where you could literally write a check and buy whatever the fuck you want, cigarettes and gas or whatever? You can sign them over, like especially in the military. Like my mom used to tell me stories about that. And now it's like you get food stamps and like you go through fucking King Supers and they're like, Oh, is that organic? No, you can't fucking have that. Yeah. Fuck you, asshole, it's food. Yeah, they're like, uh <coughs> it's it's a little more low key now because it's got the card. It used to be like what the fuck? You got a purple 20, dude? Are you a fucking food stamp? Yeah, they were you know? actual food stamps. Yeah, it was actual, actual like, money. Mickey Mouse money, you know, back in the 90s. You know why they stopped doing that, right? Because it's what? embarrassing. Because people were trading it for... Yeah, they still oh, do it now. Yes. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, okay. like, hey, like, hey, man, that was gonna stop I'm going to give you thing. my food stamps card of $200, which is at least the equivalent of Damn a 20 right. sack of crack cocaine, please. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> like, or I'll have... Uh, you have your oldest piss in this cup. Yeah. Give me a clean you and I'll give you a 50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not that I know anything about that. Amber, Amber, help This struggle, John. Yeah, yeah right. Get him ramen noodles. Yeah, yeah. I'll <laughs> get you the stroganoff and the lasagna hamburger helper. I'll throw that in. versus this shit. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I, I'm not talking shit. Yeah, I was going to say, my favorite thing to this day are still the, what used to be a quarter pot pie for Stokers. Oh, yeah. Right. And now, now it's fucking eighty nine cents. It's highway robbery. Ramen's still cheaper. You didn't pay me so less than a dollar. <laughs> we used to be no. a proper. Oh no, yeah, you're right. Vienna, Sorry, so- that- Vienna sausages, okay, and potted meat. I fucking love, bro. Right? Hey, dollar store, dollar I, store. I, I store fucking thank you, man. Like I'm serious. No, no, all right. So when, when, uh, <laughs> my mom had to go take care of my grandfather who was having cancer. It was me and my dad. And we'd have to eat the fucking pot dish. Stouffer's and the shit was a fucking thing, man. We'd sit at the end of the table. Oh, yeah. We'd yeah. go over my homework, you know. They're like, oh, this seems awfully uh, forgery. Like, <laughs> Let's uh, pot pie about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> For real. <laughs> so, well, well, all right. Um, favorite favorite food? I gotta, I'm going to just ask. I want to know these things. What's your favorite food? Right off the top. Shrimp. Shrimp, man. Shrimp? Shrimp. What about you? Shrimp. You favorite food? Right off the top heads. Boom. Lasagna. Lasagna. What do you got for me, boss? Dude, uh, fried pot stickers, like fried dumplings. Ooh, like what do you got, Jeremy? Steak. Steak? Any steak? Just Matt. Steak. Enchiladas. Enchiladas. Ooh. Oh. Dude, I pizza. I eat <laughs> pizza at breakfast, lunch, dude. Dinner, bro. I, I'm with you on the pizza, but it's got to be my grandma. I, There's so, so many man. varieties, man. That's, that's a hard one, dude. If there was, like, a Lasagna right here, and a fucking ribeye that was cooked all perfect. I'm gonna have a heart. Maybe this is easier. What's your favorite struggle meal? What's your favorite struggle meal? I know yours. I know yours. What's your favorite prison burrito? Prison. Incarcerated. Motherfuckers are good, dude. They are. They are good fucking rolls. Especially when they still have the chili verde Doritos. Right, you, you know, know, you get the, you little, know the little Joe's yeah, sausage, oh yeah. you chop when, it up, when, and you put the nacho cheese. Yeah, in when you're making ramen, 
Okay. Do you do it on the stove or the microwave? The I do it on the stove. Stove? Right? I it tastes it fucking better. garbage in the fucking microwave. Yeah, right? I agree. You take the I 10 agree. minutes it takes if to you boil actually, water and cook it. You now, do you, drain the, do you drain the juice? No. No, no. I cook the juice out. Oh, okay. And no. then put my seasoning in so it's like slimy. See, I'll, I, I, I'll, I'll, cook the noodle, I'll cook the noodles. Mm-hmm. I like Empty it. the water, throw the seasoning in, and then I'll put a whole fucking brick of butter in it. Yeah. And I'll eat that. I, put, <laughs> I, 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 I used to put butter in shit too in my I'll tell like, you that's what, fucking disgusting. I'll tell you, off topic I'll tell you what I'm so I do. fucking I'm hungry right now. Shut up, man. No. I have no <laughs> fucking so, I live in Colorado. We all know I smoke it's weed. But since we're on the topic of food, can I give a quick shout out to a new... A new you better. Yeah, hell yeah, man. So, you guys are fucking... Man, fucking Benny's. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Benny's. Oh, Benny's oh, pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, Dude, it's it so is so good. It is phenomenal. It is the like, yeah, good ass pizza. If if you've been to the Marquee Theater in Denver, well, that, like this, I was just gonna bring up this is this is like this is the equivalent of the Marquee. Like their their pizzas are huge. Yeah, it is like, huge. Yeah, you're like all oh, the wise. only thing I can <laughs> bitch about is like, like, what am I supposed to do with this fucking box? Fold it in your <laughs> fucking. Eat it. Where are they located? Well, no, you gotta put it on the roof of your They're car. up on Second Street behind uh, behind <laughs> Taco John's and Wells Fargo. Yeah, they're oh, kind of yeah. over by like that uh, UPS store. Like, yeah, yeah, that little that business couple section. There. It's, yeah, and I it's totally good agree. Like every other pizza that is Casper should just stop. Like shout out to Ben. You know, as soon as oh my god, I, I, you know I I actually so really cool. like the Firehouse Pizza though. Me too. too. Yeah. Me too. That is that is, is good, good. That is that's another plug. Casper oh. actually has a lot of good like Asian food. How many comments do we have? Okay, and well, Dasumo being yeah. how many oh comments gosh. that place? Yeah. Check awesome. out Thai Kitchen. Kid- check out Thai Kitchen, dude. It's right over by the graveyard. <laughs> well, I, 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 that's not suspicious. Right. The stoner who has to stop talking about food anymore. Yeah. There's okay. two so, shows. <laughs> well, yeah. Show. I, I, I got one more one more food thing real oh, quick. Dear. There is something there's something in the works with one of our sponsors, the Trailer Park Baker. What? Woo-hoo. She like I said, it's still in the works, but I think there might be some kind of cupcakes. And like So her idea is every, to partner with like Baker. We're we're gonna Jeremy's oh, gonna be a part of it yeah. too. So like, she's gonna make beer. some different uh, cupcakes. For real. Right. But just adding like beer into the baked good. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, like, it's still in the like works, cool. but it's gonna be yeah, rad that's... because like it's Dude, like get like get gonna be just the people those? Those that amazing. we know, but it's gonna be on the show. That would be awesome. It's gonna be one right. show yeah. so, so dedicated so, so, to the Trailer Park Baker cupcakes. Hell yeah, Trailer Park Baker. The, the I'm excited. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited. And she's one of the yeah. nicest she's people. Kicks ass. Yeah. Do you think? She oh, she's a fucking badass person. She is a Can you say girl. one thing before we close out of here? If well, if we gotta well, close out of here. Now? Uh, now. Uh, this is probably we? one of the longest <laughs> shows that I've been on. Can I? So this has <laughs> been hey, non-stop. There guys, hasn't been one dull moment. I actually, I'm not gonna lie, man. I want to hang out. Get to talk to you guys a little bit. Most right. definitely. Can I? Right. I want to say one thing real quick before we close the show out. Because, and I gotta do my outro. Uh, so, uh, our pod or, uh, on the Apple Podcast. Yeah. Good friend, David Bauer. He just started tuning in, but I was giving him shit about this because the other day, this is my rant for the week. Oh. oh. Came out of Walmart. Somebody out the back of their Tahoe, like oh, yeah, the friends. window thing, up the back of it. I'll skin it, man. About 20 to 30, 30 packs of Bush Light. <laughs> 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 and when I walked by, I was like, whoa, that looks like a pretty good time. <clears throat> the lady's face. <laughs> I don't know if she was like pissed off at her husband because it was all happening, but <laughs> it's like, huh? So later, I was gaming with Dave, and I'm like, 
you fucking Gillette people coming down here <laughs> stealing all of our bush. <laughs> <laughs> all the fucking bush. In Alabama, it's camouflage. I shit you not. Yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's amazing. It's, it is in Wisconsin, too. It's, it's yeah. been I'm not going to lie, dude. This is the first bush sled I've had. It's probably <laughs> it was camouflage. It's still hunting. Yeah. It was camouflage. Hey, can I give yeah. a shout out real quick? You betcha. Hey, somebody that is at every show into your guys' show, support the music scene no matter what. Our good friend Justin, Heidi, and his band Corpse yep. Medicine. Oh yeah, I see him coming. Yeah. Yeah. Corpse is, like, Medicine. It's so awesome to see him yeah. in a band again, not only because yeah. he's super, super, super oh, yeah. talented, but yeah, because Justin he shows up to every yeah. show, That's no right. matter what music right. they and, uh, play, no matter right. what genre. Like when I was talking about, That's hey, awesome. you guys, if you want the music scene to succeed, you need to show up. That dude has been like trying to fight for the music scene since yeah. forever. Yeah, and yeah. Justin's he's good people. Such a good ally, right. such an awesome friend, and shows up to everything. And you know what? We wish the best to his band. And Hell yeah! Hopefully they'll be on the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he said he was going to come over with the crew. He said he was coming over. Levi, fuck yeah! So, hey, don't that's why we gotta that. wrap. This yeah, up. Levi. Kamikaze <laughs> kids. Kamikaze kids on TV. Oh, we forgot. Is yes. he on TV yes. tonight? Oh. Is he on TV tonight? We have to. We yeah. do have to. Oh, yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Yep. All right, cool. Man. We have to yesterday. shout out the Kamikaze kid. Uh, oh, he was. He broke a record on TBS last night because he went through ten walls, but he went through eleven last night. Oh, that's pretty oh, bad fire. to the bone. I am. From Castle Lamb. <laughs> yeah. the, the Kamikaze Kid. The Kamikaze Kid. Yeah. What kind of show? That's awesome. Real big show. Yeah. He's our own Casper Kamikaze like stunt man. He's on the Go Big Show yeah. right now. Nice. He is a stunt man. <coughs> here. Yeah. He's always he been a stunt man since he was this fucking big. That is awesome. I didn't yeah. know that. So yeah. He crashes cars yeah. go, that are on so fire. That's and shit. awesome. Yeah. So, dude. Uh, so, tomorrow night uh, at Oil yep. City Brewery. Uh, come Hell see yeah. the amazing bands, Sharon of oh, his future. Proof of life. <laughs> uh, show starts at seven. Get your tickets. You know, <laughs> we also have tickets to Proof of Life, so hit us up as well. I already given two away for you. Oh, I'm st- I still have. We still want to make money. <laughs> still have yeah. more. Hey, right there. Yes. hey, my brother and every. That's what I was going to say before. Everybody out of town is like so. If I yeah. win these tickets, yeah. you guys, who's paying for my airplane? I, I already said paying for my airplane. <laughs> hey, I'll show you right now. As, 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 so, so this is my job as COO. It's your fucking responsibility. Right. <laughs> you just get the tickets. <laughs> Big thank you to Oil City Beer Company. For real. Yeah, yeah man. So Chris, Chris really is on board with uh, what we're trying to do with getting the music scene from Denver up here Amazing. and vice versa, Amazing. you know. Dude, really been, yeah, dude, he's been over backwards yeah. to offer his Chris Aborka, uh, and uh, so yeah, the guys at Oil City Beer Company have really, the, really helped this yeah. go. There's a lot. Oh, yeah. of, there's a lot of cool things coming out of there. Yeah, I can't wait to hear about. Them. Stay tuned to them, man. Really humble people. Yeah. Um, Hell yeah! The fact that they were willing to work with us and that Jeremy made that connection means that we were able to bring more music back to the scene. And mind you, yeah, you know, yeah, we have metal, but it's every metal and rock that you can think of. Every show is different. Right. You're going to have a blast. The community is amazing. Um, please go like, share, follow on all of our platforms. Yep, for all of Zero. that's going to be in the show notes for the people that are not watching right now. Mm-hmm. That are on the apples. Yeah. We really need the all the Casper metal and okay. rock bands to kind of get on board with this because there's yep. going to be a lot of shows coming and we're going to need there you guys. There is a lot to, of yeah. things that are so, going to be expected. To we really didn't really want the show. same. It's going to be nuts. Yeah, we didn't want the same bands to play every show. We wanted to give everyone a chance. So, uh, right. And plus they're paid gigs too. So that's really cool. I mean, yes. most of us are used to playing for free here. Yeah. And, and I'll tell you like right that. now, I will never put a band on a stage without paying them in something, in some shape, way, or form. Oh, yeah. And I can guarantee every show that Jeremy's ever played with and in, in, in present, we take care of our bands. Yeah, it's bullshit. actually really good. Right. So <coughs> we do, well, we we do over and beyond our, our job. Podcast without paying them, so yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I've been needing one. <coughs> Are you gonna crawl underneath the table for me? We hello. <laughs> no, I don't I have no need. They call me. My legs but, don't work. Oh me. shit, man. Big shout out real quick. Um Brandon uh for catastrophic heroes, man, the drummer. Say hi, he's in oh, Wisconsin. Hey. Oh, what is right now. Hi, what's up, buddy? Cheer, cheer, yeah. cheer. Yeah. They so just dropped. Right they're now. just. Oh yeah. They're, they're yeah. dropping their new album and uh, everything. Uh, May uh, May twenty seventh. Say the name of the band again. Band Catastrophic again. Heroes out of Waz- Wazoo, Wisconsin. Wazoo. Yeah. All right, Auntie. All right. So, you better support. Yeah, they got Promote a lot that of shit, great. Dude, Jim. go like their page. Actually, they just they just had to restart their page. So please go take the time and like and share their stuff. Half past midnight, just dealt with it too. A lot of since Facebook has started back up again with Meta. There's been a lot of hacking to a lot of local people. So get your security systems up high on your stuff. Make sure your platforms are taken care of and secured. Do the double identification. I know it's a pain in the ass. Do everything you need possible because think of all those years of work that you put into that site and then losing it and not having any accident and starting over again. So take the time and just just do it for everyone, man. Just right. make sure you're good. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow night. Sharon right. of Venice Future. Oil City. Oh, Chill. Yeah. 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 Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, we'll for messaging our winners here it. shortly for That's the it. tickets. Yeah. I'm going to take this out. Thank you, everybody that tuned into the live feed. We hell appreciate all the people that are on the Apple podcast that are listening, that just tuned in, and the Stitcher, the Anchor, the Spotify. All them rad joints, man. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, bye. Every Friday, yeah. 8 p.m. ish, Mountain Time, yeah, Facebook thanks. Live. Thanks for having us, too. We really yes. hella appreciate it. Yeah. 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 Follow Ground Zero Promotions on Facebook and all platforms. We got great things coming for everybody we work with. Oh, yeah, that's another one, too. Group of Life, follow us on Facebook because we also have some, some awesome shit coming up. And, and you can find them on our so. pages, too, man, if you can't find them. All the links. <laughs> You're the one with this. <laughs> and we suck at hashtags. I do too. You put poop on the table. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the look on his face. Like, that's great. Are we awesome?